Good evening everyone. So today it's little surprise for you that I'm here on the screen. I thought to interact you in the video conferencing session. Little changes I have made in the first slide because I really wanted to interact with you. I got so many feedbacks, views, opinions of yours as well. And I'm quite happy that you people are opening the videos. You people are doing the things as it has been suggested to you. I'm really happy to see that even some of you said to see me. So I'm here to you people. So hoping to see you soon in the classroom. Today is this virtual classroom. Yes, indeed, which we were talking in the classrooms that you will be having virtual classroom in the future but i was really unaware because of the covid 19 outbreak we will have the virtual classroom in 2020 only so nothing happens it's all destined so nothing is in our hand yes indeed what is in our hand our time which we should invest properly mindfully and productively so before i start my topics which are verbs and conjunctions conjunctions that means connectors which help us to make the sentences complex sentences very important parts of speech and indeed verbs verbs the types of verb transitive intransitive regular irregular helping auxiliary every type of verb we will do in the detail but before I start my session I just want to share with you my experience of these three months when I was I'm still in the quarantine session I don't know till how long it will go but indeed it has taught me a great lesson of the life that we should not I repeating we should not wait for the favorable condition favorable situations actually there is no favorable condition or situation in favor of man in such a world in which we are living so we need to we learn to make our conditions our circumstances our situations favorable okay so welcome back to the world of sakshi khanna full of english in which we will make english technical language easy and funny as well thank you so much let's move to the topic now okay guys welcome to english grammar paths of speech our today's next topic that i already shared with you verbs we will do today with connectors or conjunctions so verbs you know that it's very deep concept without verb we can't frame a single sentence you try and you will feel you try i request you all to try you can't frame a single sentence in english for example if i say that verbs are just action words it's not just action words they are words which have so many types of forms which we'll discuss later slideshow okay so as i talk to you that you can't frame a single sentence without a verb i'm telling you one sentence you just tell me i haven't used any action word i haven't done any action in that sentence it's a simple sentence but still without verb it is incomplete I am Sakshi Khanna. Okay, so am is here auxiliary. It's a helping verb. It's a verb itself. If I say Sakshi Khanna, I Sakshi Khanna, it's a wrong English. It's an American concept which we always consider British concept of English. British accent, British concept, British grammar for English because CBSE pattern we are following. So, ultimatum. I just want to finish this slide by saying this that verb is very important topic without this we can't frame a single sentence if we can't frame a single sentence we can't proceed further we can't even go through other detailed concept of English so today's verbs its type and connectors their importance as well before we proceed just look at the screen the definition of the concept which we are doing in detail that is verb Verbs are action words that tell what happens in a sentence. They can also show a sentence subject state of being is or was all the different type of verbs. Verbs change form based on tense, present tense, past tense. You must have used such type of different verbs according to the different tenses. This they want to show you and count distinction. Count distinction means singular or plural if we are making a sentence with they then we will often often take the form of plural verb and if we are using a singular person maybe he or she or it then we will 
opt singular verb for example sing dance believe see finish eat drink be became i hope that with this definition i have given you the overview of the verb which people are always talking that only action words are verb no it's very detailed concept that you will see in upcoming slides here begins our technical lesson of verb a verb is a word which shows action or state of being there are several types of verbs to be studied which we will do just now as i already told you it's a very detailed concept on the screen just look at kinds of verb how many kinds just count with me action verb transitive verb intransitive verb finite verb non finite verb dynamic verb stative verb regular verb irregular verb auxiliary verb so see the different kinds of verb here so i am telling you with this that as we were knowing that verb is just action word the story is different inside story is totally different see the count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 10 type of verbs 10 type of verbs we will be doing today session okay action verb the first very important type of the verb is here on the screen it shows us what action or subject person animal object etc performing has performed or will perform performing means it will happen has performed or will perform performing means in the progress has performed done already will perform tomorrow based on the tenses look at the examples there rob played cricket played is the action performed by rob see the detail i am repeating once again the first sentence read with me rob played cricket played is the action which performed by rob next example alice baked cake for the party your dog is barking in the park i wrote a letter to my cousin ducks are swimming in the pond now look at the different form of the verb which we have used in these five sentences okay in first it's a second form baked also second form barking ing we have added in the base form i wrote again second form and swimming again we have added ing to the base form to show the progression of a action progression of a task profession progression of an action next we have transitive verb transitive verbs are action verbs that have an object to receive that action i am repeating just listen to me very carefully you will get to know transitive verbs are action verbs that have an object to receive that action means it's a complete sentence there is no questioning against the sentence it is called transitive verbs i will explain you later it requires an object in order to be grammatical the meaning of transitive verb is incomplete without a direct object if there is no direct object that means that sentence is incomplete look at the examples the cat broke the pot if i speak this much only the cat broke what cat has broken no answer the pot has been broken by the cat so the pot is the object so i just want to prove my point which i said earlier the transitive verbs always need a direct subject to show the action the cat broke the pot he moved the chair if i say he moved he moved what okay the chair the chair is the object object is merged in transitive verb we can't frame a sentence with transitive verb without any object she bought some new books if i say she bought dash 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 incomplete in the sense so some new books will complete the sentence my cousin wrote a letter my cousin 
wrote what? Dash dash dash. No, a letter to me. That means a letter to me. Its object which is completing the sentence. So the complete sentence that is my cousin wrote a letter to me. On the screen we have intransitive verb. I hope you understood with the name only. Intransitive that means something is missing. So it is an action verb that doesn't take a direct object or complement to receive action. Already completed. Many verbs have both a transitive and intransitive function depending on how they are used. It is not compulsory that all the time we need an object in a sentence. We can frame the sentences without object as well. No direct object as well. We can frame so many sentences. Examples are there for you to prove my point. Just read with me. First example, I am studying at the moment. No direct object for the verb. His father was driving at that time. His father was driving at that time. We haven't written here car. We have just completed a sentence that means it's intransitive verb. Sara is cooking right now. Sara is cooking what? Sara is cooking right now. The child is sneezing repeatedly. The child is sneezing repeatedly. Again, it's a complete sentence but without a direct object. So, I just want to prove here that intransitive verb, they don't need any direct object to complete the sentence, which only required in transitive verb. Moving ahead, finite verb on the screen, guys. Finite verbs are those verbs that have a definite relation with the subject or noun. These verbs are usually the main verb of a sentence can be changed according to the noun. I am repeating the definition. Finite verbs are those verbs that have a definite relation with the subject or noun. These verbs are usually the main verb of a sentence and can be changed according to the noun. Used only in present and past tense. Just look at the example then I will prove my point here. Verbs appear in almost all sentences. As I started my clause, we can't frame a single sentence without a verb. So they have made a sentence with this point only. This dog parks in the park. Fred said, Fred said that he enjoyed the show. My sister plays the piano. Verbs appear in almost all sentences. Appears. Here he is saying, the author is saying that finite verb, finite verb have some relationship, definite relation with the subject or the noun. Now look at the do uh, dog barks in the park. What is noun here? Noun in this sentence, this dog, dog is noun, park is noun. The clear relationship with the noun. Fred said that he enjoyed the show. My sister plays the piano. My sister plays the piano. Piano is noun here and relationship piano is always played. So these are fixed definite relationship things which shows piano we can't beat. We need to play. Okay. So playing is the fixed word which goes to the piano. This I just want to prove here. I guess you got it. Non-finite verb. Non-finite verb as the word suggests. Unlimited. These verbs cannot be the main verb of a sentence. First, very important point. In the previous, that is finite, the condition is that only we will use the main verb. Main verb will be the part of finite category. But in non-finite category, it is not a condition that main verb will be the part of. The sentence, they do not talk about the action that is being performed by the subject. They do not talk about the action. They do not indicate any tense, mood or gender. Look at the example. I will continue my work later. We like camping in the woods. We like camping. Camping is a act. 
camping is an act which we perform during our picnic days. Okay, we go out for outing, camping, hiking, hike and camps. Okay, so we like camping, hiking, camping. We like children are learning to swim. Children are learning to swim. The running person caused panic. The running person caused panic. You need to accept this. You need to accept this. See, here there is no perfect relationship which can be shown, which can be shown with the noun. Instead of finite verb showed exact relationship which we had done just now. Okay, with the piano and the action of playing the piano. So here the thing is totally different. I will continue my work later we like camping in the woods there is no limitation means we can use except main verbs in such type of sentences comes in the category come in the category of non finite verbs moving ahead i know you got surprised to see the name on the screen which you must haven't heard about dynamic verb yes it's a not new type of verb modified name a dynamic verb is a verb that shows continued or progressive action of the subject. Just look at the definition once again. A dynamic verb is a verb that shows continued or progressive action of the subject. It indicates that something is happening or was happening or will be happening. Just look at the example to prove this point. It will be clear to you. Those girls buy clothes every week. He is singing at the party. We are investing in dollars this time. She was selling her old books in the garage sale. Okay, now in these four sentences, some progression has been observed. Those girls buy clothes every week. He is singing. It is still in progressive stage we are investing again progressive stage she was selling again happening the task is happening so dynamic verb which shows continued or progressive action of the subject stative verbs stative verb which word indicates the sense of the meaning Stative means the state. The state of being, the state of mind, our feeling means in such type of sentences there is no action. There is no action performed. Only it depends upon the state of being. Maybe some feeling kind of. Let us see the example and the definition you will come to know easily. A stative verb is one that describes a state of being person, animal, object. So this verb doesn't describe the action like dynamic verb. In dynamic verb, we have done so many sentences with action. With action which continued as well. In the progression, it, it depends upon the progression. But in stative verb, it is just related to the state of being of the person maybe. Things as well, objects as well. Now look at the example to prove this point. My sister prefers chocolate cake. So my sister prefers, she is not performing any action with using this word. This word is verb. Prefer is verb here. But it is not showing any type of action. It is showing the state of her inner heart. That she feels so happy. She feels so good when she has chocolate. When she likes chocolate. So my sister prefers chocolate cake. He likes playing tennis. Again, liking, liking, disliking related to the feeling. I think again with the feeling state of mind. I think tea is better than coffee. So, your brother hates driving. There is no action performed in this sentence. Hats again considered to the state of mind, state of heart. Everyone appeared at the party. Everyone appeared at the party. Again, the presence, the presence of the people, those who are expected would you mind it i sit here again related to the sense related to the feeling would you mind it so mind is here what is that yes it is verb here always remember me in your 
prayers always remember me in your prayers so remember again in the feeling that you always bless me always take my name i need your prayers we often say to our elders always remember us in your prayers we say like this so it is again related to the feelings inner feelings stative verbs related to the inner feeling state of being state of mind state of heart inner feelings all come in this category okay our next type here regular verb regular verb a verb that follows standard patterns patterns means the design the design i am not designing here with any brush and paint so let me clear you all a pattern in writing also there is a specific pattern we write we use for example i have used one verb here write write wrote written eat ate eaten bake baked big so baked 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 the same pattern we have followed eat ate eaten we are going against the pattern so this is known as the standard pattern so regular verb here which follows standard patterns in its inflection in the form at the end at the end change reflects in the form okay its form follows a regular pattern of words the past tense of this verb formed by adding an ed ending jump jumped laughed laughed okay so these are regular verbs which are going to the same pattern for example you will learn verbs in english class have you already learned verbs learn and learn just we have added ed same base verb okay so these are known as regular verb ask your mother if she read if she needs any help ask your mother he asked his mother if she needed any help again we have added ed to make pit changes okay so here we didn't go against the pattern the same pattern we have followed that is known as regular verb again i am telling you that in which we follow the same pattern and simple changes we made to made it to happen by adding ed it's all regular verb in the category i hope you would have understood why see the by just see the title irregular verb here we will go against the previous concept so a verb those variations of form doesn't follow the standard patterns means here we are going against the pattern against the base form we will make major changes in regular verb we make just minor changes but in irregular verb we make major changes its form follows a different pattern its form doesn't follow the regular pattern that's why it is called irregular verb regular verb follow the pattern irregular verb against the pattern okay look at the example for example we will go there on time go went gone see the changes in the pattern they went to the party last night my sister has gone to london let me make some coffee she made coffee for me now see the difference i hope you would have understood the difference between irregular and regular verb yeah very important auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs really very important in english without this really we are helpless we are just helpless and auxiliary verb is a verb used to add functional or grammatical meaning grammatical meaning it considers means grammatical error will be there in the sentence if we are not going accordingly auxiliary verb to the clause in which it appears it is used in forming the tenses moods and voices of other verbs also called helping verbs so helping verbs how many helping verbs we have yes was were is am are has have had will shall so many so many verbs we have so look at the example it's so simple auxiliary verb when i said you people it's a helping verb only so you understood very fast just we will read the examples he is making the assignment is is helping so if i remove is he making the assignment it's a grammatical error 
it's a grammatical error so we need to follow the pattern of the grammar then auxiliary verb is it must to use in a sentence she was giving the presentation they have been studying the team will score better this time i can speak spanish etc so in this way i have explained you auxiliary verb helping verb in the same way the name suggests helping which need which needs in a sentence without this we can't frame a complete sentence that's why i told you that without a verb verbs are not only action it's a very detailed concept i am sakshi khanna am is helping verb here it's auxiliary if i say i sakshi khanna that is purely wrong okay so it's time to recap all the types once again all the action verbs in which some action run ran run walk 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 swim swam swam tell told told hide hid hidden so it's a very long list in thousand in number of thousand it is there okay you know all that so just want to give you the clue of the action verbs helping verbs now see the helping verbs also called an auxiliary which i explained to you let's recap here which combines with the main verb to help it express the tense mood and voice they are added before the verb always there is a condition then it will be added before the verb now common helping verbs are be to have can may will shall are is look at the example the soldiers are advancing forward the soldiers are advancing forward understood you all i hope okay linking verb here connects or links a subject to a noun or an adjective in a predicate forget about such things okay don't go for the complications just linking verb which links mess is a football player okay verb such as smell look taste feel remain turn appear become sound seem grow stay can also be the linking verb it looks good it looks good okay no action it sounds good it seems good before we close this topic that is verb i just want to do some examples with you so that you will understand properly they will be late to the party verb is here the underline will be and type is linking verb got it they will be late to the party verb type will be linking category linking verb type is linking verb and what is the verb here that is will be more examples on the screen randy is studying for his grammar test verb is studying here type category is helping means the main verb okay so main verb plus helping verb main verb is study and is is helping verb the teacher answered his question verb is here answered and type action verb action has been performed of answering so answer is main verb here that is action verb category thomas raised his hand verb is raised here and type again action verb some action has performed the ocean water tastes salty the action of tasting okay action of tasting has not been performed ocean water tastes salty it's a quality okay it is just a quality salty water with ocean it's a linker linking verb okay so verb is here taste and type is linking sara competed in the track meet competed again is a action again is an action and it has been performed so type is action verb category and verb is here competed okay guys just look at the screen some example i have sorted for you of regular verbs to show the pattern see present past and past participle beg begged begged 
copy copied copied dry tried tried fit fitted fitted hug hugged hugged so in this way what i wanted to show you with this page which is on the screen that regular verbs the same pattern just addition of ed okay now irregular verbs just look at that be was were was were been begin began begun break broke broken built 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 so ed has not been added requirement of the main verb base verb we have made some changes in that so i hope you understand the difference of irregular regular transitive intransitive finite non finite okay moving ahead to the main parts of speech conjunctions just want to give you an overview what is conjunction actually conjunctions join words join words phrases and clauses in a sentence there are coordinating subordinating and correlative conjunctions examples and what or so yet with the list is unlimited that i will give you i will show you on the screen later but here just i wanted to give you the overview of the topic conjunction which is known as connectors as well and it is required to frame a sentence it is required to add some words it is required to make the complex sentence okay in english it is very important parts of speech you must be surprising that what type of screen i have made well i like the creativity colorful things i really like that it gives it enhances the sense of understanding means it boosts up so i like the things it's my personal feeling so i am very creative and you will see in the classrooms as well so here is our main topic that is conjunctions are music to my ears music to my ears what does it mean it is not speaking anything singing anything but music to my ears means when we use the conjunctions in the sentence it frames such a beautiful sentence the sentence structure is improved by using the conjunction that's why our music to my ears means it's very important to listen good piece of english okay what are the conjunctions here let's recap the definition technical definition conjunctions are words that join two or more words phrases or clauses clauses in the sentence small sentences as well so words you know phrases you know that group of words but not independent clause or the sentence look at the examples joining two or more words the dog scratched and panted the dog scratched the dog panted we can we could create two sentences but we have the facility to add the phrases together so the dog scratched and panted so and is here conjunction more examples with the phrases when we add phrases okay my doctor can choose to measure my height my weight or check my temperature my doctor can choose to measure my height my weight or check my temperature okay just with the addition of or we were able to join a sentence in a proper way which came which came to the category of complex sentences which is very good in english which is really great demand which is really in great demand the complex sentence and that is why i'm telling you it's very important part of speech without this we can't make good sentence the structure of sentence will be very poor if you are not using you are not good in conjunctions now joining two or more sentences eric wants to play basketball any wants to play soccer these are two independent clause or independent sentences okay eric wants to play basketball any wants to play soccer so how we have combined eric wants to play basketball but any wants to play soccer so this is the requirement of conjunction how we are able to create a beautiful sentence in english language 
coordinating conjunction. Now come to the type. Just look at the zigzag blocks. What has been written here? For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. So, detail of the coordinating conjunction. What do you mean by coordinating? Relating to each other. Okay. To show the correlation. To show some relationship that you are not awkward. You are not feeling correlate the things okay when we correlate the things correlate the situations we make the things more comfortable more adaptable in that sense so in the same way coordinating conjunction are like that coordinating conjunctions join sentences elements that are the same you can memorize them with the acronyms fanboys we will do it i will show you the complete list at the end of this presentation coordinating conjunction and their meanings for, with the, because and in addition when, when we add something, when we show some reason, nor, am not or not means in negation, in some negative sense we want to show. So, in this way every conjunction has some relation, okay, which coordinates such things. For example, <coughs> sorry. For example, if we talk about an, it, it shows the relationship with some addition. Means something extra we have added here with using of an. Some more examples on the screen with their meaning. Again, the category coordinating conjunctions and their meanings. But opposite, difference, contrast, yet, but. So, consequences some result okay or with some choice or opinion or alternation okay now can you find the conjunction in the following sentences i am talking to you some of the examples i am giving you now in the coming up slides so let's begin and do it with me which word is the conjunction here the mother bear carried her baby and briefcase very simple as we are in the virtual classroom, we are learning in virtual classroom, there is no chance. But still, I just want you to focus over finding the conjunction in the sentence to practice with me. Beethoven can play the piano or compose music in his free time or is conjunction here. Okay. It was snowing outside, so we stayed indoors if you remember when i was showing you the meaning of so 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 show the relation that this happened in the consequences we are doing so it was snowing outside because of the snowing outside we stayed indoor in the result we are staying indoor that is the known that is the meaning of coordinating coordinating showing the relation our dad checked the grill but forgot to check the oven. Our dad checked the grill but forgot to check the oven. But I said you when we show the opposite something, some contrary, okay, some contrast, okay. So in that condition we use but. I know how to play twinkle twinkle little star on the piano yet I don't know. How to play other songs. Again, yet I know how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I know how to play this song but I don't know how to play other songs, other rhymes. Okay, yet is conjunction here. So you are listening these sentences I am reading with you people and how you are feeling. That is why it is music to the ear. Which word is the conjunction here? Find out so simple as it is blocked and encircled that is neither what i said nor what i meant most of the visitors were happy just sitting around in the shade for it had been a long dusty trip on the rain for i told you with some reason with some reason they all are resting because it had been a long dusty trip on the train. That is why they are sitting around the shade to take rest. That is why. Means when we have some reason to prove. Then we use for. Because. Sally is intelligent. 
and her younger sister is beautiful sally is intelligent and her younger sister is beautiful there are conditions to use the conjunction which will help you to do the spotting error task later on in your competitive level exams preparation that i will tell you later how many errors are related to conjunctions preposition it's a very detailed topic we will do it later okay yes very important list just look at the contrast one when we show with which word we can show the contrast in a sentence however nevertheless alternatively despite this on the contrary yet whereas apart from even so although in spite of why see these all are connectors these all are conjunctions but they have some different category when we want to show the contrast in the sentence we have the facility of using these word comparison just see the comparison comparison we can show by using such conjunctions like equally as with likewise in the same way similarly like contrast despite this in comparison in contrast even though conclusion to conclude in conclusion finally on the whole summarizing overall to sum up evidently means when we want to conclude something okay in some sentence in some clause we want to show some conclusion then we have the facility to use such words <coughs> cause and effects because since for so consequently therefore thus hence owing as a result of cause as a consequence of leads to contributes to such a long list look at that persuasion opinion emphasis to show the addition we have the facility to use such words and also in addition further furthermore besides in addition to moreover additionally not only but also then again finally so in this way i just shared with you lot many conjunction on the screen with the list of connectors okay with the category different meaning as well if we want to show some opinion some view some feedback then we can use such conjunction i think i believe i feel in my opinion in my view as far as it seems like it seems to me in my experience i believe that so and so such a long list okay okay now this is the time to say goodbye to you but we will meet tomorrow with a new topic but before that i just request you that i am expecting many queries questions from you people i am awaiting okay with a great zeal i i will be very happy if you will open up your queries as soon as possible i know you must have many queries so please feel free to ask me if you have query you can put up in the comment box okay you can put up in the text form on the whatsapp group i am eagerly waiting for you till the time i am signing you off this is sakshi khanna wishing you a great evening with your parents okay stay protected stay safe meet you tomorrow bye